What's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video we'll talk about value change animations value change animations is a simple concept guys it just you know uh, changes the changes a count a digit count over a period of time that's it so uh, this can be used for instance when you are trying to load a screen uh, for example you need to show loading 3 2 1 and then you need to load a screen uh, say if there is an example like that for that you can use this make use of this and it can also be used for a lot of, if you notice the in how do i say this in in places where values change over a period of time say for instance the stock exchange graph the stock market graph a uh, stock of a particular company over a period of time it will change uh, say for instance you want to check the changes in the stock price over a, uh, every second or every five seconds in that case you can make use of these cool value change animations to present the value the price of the stock every five seconds in a uh, neat way in a neat way to the user right so that's exactly where there are a lot of other use case scenarios for this as well the sky is your imagination but uh, essentially that's value change so how do how are we going to uh, bring this inside your flutter applications flutter applications have a wonderful uh, but a very simple thing to bring in value change animations uh, it will probably take me around like three to four minutes that's it to explain that now this is where we left off in our previous video right we don't need this uh, transform animation for those of you who haven't watched my previous videos i have made a video on parenting animations basics of animations delayed animations and uh, transformation animations so kindly watch everything first and then uh, try to watch this or you can simply watch this no use uh, i mean uh, no issues in that I'll remove this. We just need one animation and an animation controller. And I'll go ahead and uh, remove this as well. Okay. Uh, animation, what I can do is there is something called an int twin. Okay, I'll make use of that int twin. This simply gives us integer values to be used over a period of time. Say for instance, 0 to 10. Okay. And the duration will be eight seconds is too much. Four, okay. And uh, curve, curve will be ease out, so that it looks like the value is going out and another value is coming in, and then uh, so on and so on. Uh, inside the animated builder, I'll just have the center, and then remove all these. And uh, child uh, container container I'll align this main axis alignment dot center uh, children text And then one more text here I'll simply do animation dot value dot to string I'm simply converting it into a string so that an error is avoided and I'll also increase the font size maybe uh, style uh, font oh sorry text style this is text style font size some 52 maybe 52.0 save this and then uh, let's try running this now wow you saw that it automatically started from 0 and uh, ended at 10 right probably load <laughs> this shouldn't be it should count down right it'll start from 10 and then end at 0 Cool, right if you look it on a, i mean if you see it on run this on a mobile device you'll actually see it count down from 10 to uh, 0 guys now on an emulator it's uh, delayed right so it's uh, what you see might be from actually 5 or 4 but actually it, it counts down from 10 to 0 now this is exactly value change animations you can use this for a large number of scenarios as i said before uh, while representing uh, values changes over a period of time or say for instance uh, counting the number of downloads over a period of time, counting the number of subscribers 
all these instances you can show uh, specific you, you might wonder how to do that right uh, all you need to do is get this in a variable okay get this begin and end values in a variable and then uh, each and every time the variable the value changes uh, re, re i mean update that variable and then trigger this animation again using animation controller dot forward that's it and you can also check the status of the animation all that i'll explain in a different video there are different uh, other uh, things that you can do with this particular animation controller you can check whether the animation is done or you can check whether the animation is happening if the animation is happening you can simply wait for it and then once it finishes you can trigger something else all this stuff you can do using this animation controller all those stuff i'll explain in a different video right now we will just start from the very basics okay very basics of animation and we are just seeing the different types of animation that you can very easily do with uh, twins i mean uh, flutter twins right so uh, yeah this is exactly value change animation guys we'll see maybe one or two uh, different other types of animation that uh, simple animations that you can do and then progress on i also wanted to a large amount of guys have been asking me to do stuff on ui challenges guys so what i'll do is from uh, from this month uh, i mean before the end of this month uh, i'll we'll start with videos on uh, making basic screens okay say profile screens or uh, showing uh, user detail screens or simple chat screens stuff like that very simple screens except login screens login screens there are already a lot of examples everyone who does ui challenges except that uh, except the fluttery channel everyone seems to be doing only login screens nowadays so uh, apart from login screens we'll start having a uh, i mean we'll start designing other cool looking uh, screens using flutter so we'll start with videos on that as well parallel to these animation videos uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the notifications icon so that you will get all my uh, videos delivered to you whenever i upload them and uh, hit thumbs up on this video if you really like this video guys so that uh, youtube's algorithm will at least pick it up and uh, recommend it outside of india which it doesn't do anymore i don't know why anyway uh, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching guys i uh, hope this helped you i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye